and welcome back guys to the Spacey Tropics review channel. Now as you can clearly see here, I have a giant box in front of me. What's in this giant box? Well, it's been something I've been wanting for probably close to five years now. Maybe a little bit longer, give or take, since this thing came out. And what it is, it is the biggest speaker unit I will have ever owned or bought on my own. And I am so proud to unveil it to you guys right here, right now. And this is one special, special review for me. So let's get to it. Today, I'm pleased to announce that I have the most special thing ever. I've been waiting so, so long to acquire this. And now I finally have it. The Logitech Z906, 1000 watts of pure THX certified power. Along, I think it has Dolby Atmos as well. Dolby Atmos, if that's the correct way. So, I'm gonna let the intro play and we're gonna get into unboxing this big boy. All right, let's get to unboxing this thing. Got my nice knife right here. If you want it, the description will be, well, <laughs> the link will be in the description below. So let's get to it. You see, the box is so big, I couldn't do it in my usual place. I have to do it in my office space for spacey traffic. So. But nonetheless, let's get to it. And now let's get to the pull tab. So before I open it, as you can see here, like I said, it's a thousand watts. It's a 5.1 channel surround sound, technically gaming speaker, but you can use it for music and everything else. You know, it's not just dedicated to gaming, but you, you know how it goes. So there we go. Ah, this is a big moment for me. You see, before this, I had the Logitech Z623s. And that was my, that was the speaker you kept seeing in the back of almost every review except for this one. So, not the white one, the black speaker. So, let's see, we open it up here. Here we have a couple of setup guides, maybe the warranty and whatnot. We'll file that to the side. Now this does this does come with two year limited warranty from Logitech, just in case something goes wrong. Let's get that out of the way. Oh, 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 and we're greeted with the subwoofer first. Nice. So, give me a sec, let me take it out, and get back to you in a bit. box doesn't have, well, this portion of the box doesn't have anything else in it, so just find that to the side. I'm pretty sure this has all the satellites in it, as well as the controller. So we'll take that out. Put this here. And get the subwoofer on the table. Now, I'm gonna try and measure it because I never really knew the size of these subwoofers. Uh, pretty sure that's not the correct way to measure it, but hey, I'm gonna try. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's so pretty. Wow, look at that. This is a big boy. Now, let me get my tape measure and so yeah, it's a clothing tape measure, the one I use for Spacey, but nonetheless, it'll work. So let's see here, we have close to 12 and a half inches in length, and 11 inches in width, and it is about 11 and a half inches tall. Oh boy! 
ones on the side here you can see this is a ported box this, for those of you that don't know ported boxes there's there's ported boxes and then there are shallow mounts ported boxes are the ones with a giant hole in it obviously and it lets out air to give a more louder stronger bass frequency if you have a shallow mount it does not have a port and that bass is then produced more sharply more strongly more pronounced this is just you know to make everything seem a lot louder if I'm wrong you can say it in the comment section below I'm not gonna say anything you know and now for the sub itself I'm pretty sure this is not how you measure it but we're gonna try it so I'm gonna measure it from the beginning of the mesh here because I know it's not gonna be over there measure from the beginning of the mesh there up it's roughly about eight to eight and a half inches so it's a big subwoofer compared to the Logitech Z623s it's a little bit bigger I enjoy that I enjoy that a lot now filing over to the back we're gonna see all the main components back here or all the main plugins because I believe the amp and everything is in here so you're gonna see regular speaker components to plug into we have the console the console I'll show you in a bit it's the one that controls the volume controls which speakers are playing etc etc you have different connections here you have two optical connections uh, RCA auxiliary I believe it's these two combined together I'm not sure how to use these but this is the main auxiliary here when you want to plug in just a regular auxiliary cable this one I'm not too sure of I, I, I know what it's for but I technically forgot what it's called but besides that let's put this heavy mama to the side and open up the box with all the satellites in them it's actually a little heavy, I'm not gonna lie. Wow. Let's look at that. Now, according to the box, the subwoofer has 165 watts. Well, the whole system has 1,000 watts. RMS, which is Rootman Square, uh, that is 500. So we go most of the time for speakers, you go based off the RMS. The RMS is 500 watts for the entire system. Peak power is 1,000 watts. Each one of these satellites have 67 watts each, and the subwoofer is 165. Now, before we get to the actual speaker, we're gonna go here to the remote. This is the remote to control everything, to control through the console itself. So we'll file that on top of the subwoofer, pull this out. Aha, batteries, nice. And let's go here. Now here we have some, okay. We have some speaker wire here. Now it's gonna come with a lot of speaker wire. These are mountable, by the way. If you didn't know that these are mountable, uh, going in the back here, yeah, you can see there's a mounting screw right there. But we'll get to that in a bit. So all the speaker wire, we're gonna file that to the side. This is the black and yellow, and well, I guess they mixed up everything together. The black and yellow auxiliary with the regular auxiliary cable as well. Now going right here, this is the big boy. This is the console. So give me a sec. It'll it'll be a second for you, but just give me a sec and I'll unwrap this and show you what it looks like properly. And here we have the console here. And now I want to go get one of my big uh, recording lights or studio lights, just so you guys can see this a little bit better. Because I shot this already, but it didn't come out well. So. If we get in close here, you can see this says input right here, and at the bottom is aux. So now what the inputs are, I'm pretty sure it's for the inputs in the back, like the two optical ports, the RCAs, and the uh, that one little red port I forgot the name for, as well as that yellow and black uh, 3.5 millimeter jacks in the back. And I believe this is, yeah, this should be the button to switch it. You see it says input, so you keep switching through there. Now here, it says, this is stereo. So this is 3D stereo. 3D meaning all 5.1, well, the point one is for the subwoofer. So all 5.1 speakers, five speaker, one subwoofer will be on. Here, you can clearly see it says a 4.1. I'm guessing the 4.1 would be four speakers without the center channel, which should be this one right here. Four speakers without the center channel and the subwoofer is playing as well. And then down here is just 2.1. So the two front channel right and left with the subwoofer itself. On this side, 
it's going to show you which one is up so the big square is the subwoofer these two are the rear satellites please excuse the noise these two are the rear satellites this is the center channel oh actually no now that I think about it, this is right and left. This is the right and left satellites, number one, number two, the center channel, and then these are the rear right there. Level, I'm not too sure about yet. And mute, this is a mute button just to mute it. This is the IR, IR blaster or IR port receiver for the remote and a basic volume knob. So we're going to put this to the side on top of the subwoofer and start getting into these satellites here now i'm not going to open all in front of you because the majority of them are the same i'm just going to open up one satellite one of the four as well as the center channel to show you the difference between that so let's get to it uh that works too And take this out now upon taking this out this has quite a bit of weight into it like it it's actually it's actually heavier than I thought now in the bottom if you're just placing it down it does have rubber feet so that you can lay it like this on the table or a countertop or any type of uh, TV stand if you as you can clearly see inside there's the driver inside I'm guessing it's a mid-range component speaker if it was a coax, it'd have a tweeter somewhere. I don't know. I don't know if this is the tweeter just because it has a little bit of space in between, but I doubt that. So from what I'm seeing, it looks like just a basic mid-range component speaker. But nonetheless, it's probably going to sound really, really good. So we'll put this down, and I'll show you what the center channel looks like since all the other satellites are going to look the same as this. There we go. Yeah, look here. Let's rip it. Now the only difference between this center channel and the rest of them is that obviously it's the center channel. It's going to sit like this, the rubber feet are on the bottom here. In the back you're going to have your connections just like every other speaker, positive and negative. And, and again, like I said, it is mountable so if you want to mount this on top of anything, like if you have a mounting jack and you just mount it and put it up, you can put it up on the wall, it'll sit there. And this also has 67 watts. Each one of these five have 67 watts, like I said before, and the subwoofer is 165. So, if you'll give me a little bit, it'll be one second for you. Uh, I'm just going to plug up everything and give you guys a full sound test. Alright guys, uh, I have the speaker, well, sort of set up. This is not really how you're supposed to set up a 3D system. But just for the time being, for test purposes, I'm just going to leave it like this. I have the subwoofer located on the floor below. And I'm just going to go through some of the cycles and whatnot. I'm not going to lie, I already tested it before I made this portion of the video. And, uh... Ah. Yeah. Honestly, uh, forgive me if anything is distorted. Because this thing gets loud. And when I mean loud, I don't mean okay it's loud it's nice i mean this thing gets loud like thx certified hell yes hell yes 100 percent. this thing is loud this thing is movie certified excuse all the mess back there that's from the spacey tropic side of things the clothing part but you, you guys just gotta hear it for yourself now i'm going to go and cycle through some of the stuff on the console right here so right now it's on input one that's where the auxiliary is currently i'm gonna leave that as is i'm gonna cycle to 3d 4.1 which is what i presume correct because it does give you a visual representation over here 4.1 is this this that and that along with the subwoofer 3d includes the center channel down here and 2.1 is just this channel and this channel in the front right and left that's it with the subwoofer other than that Let's get to the sound test of this amazing 1000 watt speaker system. So the song I'm going to be playing first, since I need to leave the cable over there. The song I'm going to be playing first is something that I've already played before for the Tron Smart speaker review. If you guys haven't watched that, link will be in the description below. Uh, I'm going to be playing Fallen. Not Fallen, sorry. Falling. Uh, by Safarios, I'm guessing. All, all the music will be in the description below just in case you want to check it out. So let's get this started.
Oh, and it does come with an included remote, so. Now, I placed the microphone away from the speaker because I'm pretty sure that'll try to help with a little bit of distortion, but it's not going to help with all the rattling behind me. Uh, if you, in, case, in case you heard that, this subwoofer is really something. It is punchy. And, and look at this, look at this. It's this level here, there's a button here that says level. When you click it, that's the subwoofer. It's not even max. This is not even max. I left it there. As, as a matter of fact, it came, let's see. From the factory, it came here halfway. That's halfway. So I'm guessing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, halfway is 6. Man, oh my god. Just leave it on 7. You don't need to go any higher than that. You go higher than that, then you're probably going to rattle the entire house. Your entire house. It's just so good. And just listen to that clarity. Listen to this. <laughs> I mean, wow, it's amazing what this speaker really, really can produce right here, right now. With just an RMS of 500 watts, full peak power of 1,000 watts. If you're in need of a speaker system, this is the one to go. Now, here comes the bad part. The bad part is, like I said, I've been waiting for this speaker system for quite some time, okay? It has always been anywhere from the range of 499 to 399 on Amazon. And every time I go to check it, it's always got 10, maybe 15 left. People are buying this thing like there is no tomorrow. This thing is amazing. Now, the only reason I have it now is because out of the blue, out of nowhere, I've never seen it go this slow before, and I doubt that that sale will ever happen again. But I was able to acquire this brand new for $1.99 on Amazon. That is the only reason why I have this in front of me now. I jumped on the deal. I said this is not going to happen again. I jumped on the deal and got it. Now, if you have $3.99 to spare, $2.99 to spare, whatever the case is, please, please consider getting this. This thing is amazing. I'm going to go and play another song for you right now. For you, it'll be a second. Just give me a minute. Now, this next song is called Dream Forever. It's by a whole bunch of people. Uh, link will be in the description below and just enjoy Again, guys, if you have the money to spare and you're looking for a speaker system, the price is right for this compared to buying some big boy stuff. You can buy a Blu-ray player separate, or if you have a PlayStation or an Xbox, that's already a Blu-ray player, so you don't even need to buy one of those anymore, like back in the day, just to get all a thousand watts and stuff. If you're looking for gaming, if you're looking for a gaming version 
of speakers you know you have the money to spare this is it this is it 100 percent. like i said on the box itself it also says that it is made for gaming logitech made this for gaming but other purposes is there too watching movies on this it's going to be phenomenal you're going to feel like you're in an actual movie theater the music that comes out of this the sounds the bass the trebles the mids the highs crisp clean strong it's it's a 100 percent win this is a 10 out of 5 this is this is fantastic if you really are looking for something this is it i'm gonna give you guys one more song and then i'm gonna close off the review from there okay this next one is called why we lose and it's one i've played before a long time ago i'm gonna replay it here because it's got a good good drop well i think it's a kind of good drop so but you'll be the judge for yourself Sorry about that. The only reason it went low, and I started lowering the volume after that. But only, excuse that. Only reason it went low is because I got an email that came in. But um, I mean, what more can I say, guys? There's there's no more I can say. There's no more. It's it's good. You know it's good. You're hearing that it's good. I don't know if the music is distorted or not. If it's distorted, then that means one, this mic couldn't handle it, and two. That means this speaker is not only really loud, but it sounds really, really good. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this review. All the affiliated stuff for me, like my Instagram and the other YouTube channel, will be in the description box below. All the songs used here will be in the description box below. The beautiful link to this thing will be in the description box below. Everything is there. Go check it out. Tell me what you think. If you get it, please tell me what you think. I mean, there's no other words to describe this thing. This thing is nothing short of amazing. I really hope you guys enjoyed this review. Because I know I did. Now I'm going to go and set this up in my room. Uh, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.